Turning to section two, we begin our discussion of the middle weak forms with the Cal perfect. For the Cal perfect, the middle weak verbs use the same suffix endings as every other perfect form, endings that you now know well. The middle weak root letter, however, the second of the three root letters, disappears, meaning that in the perfect, you can see no obvious distinction in the conjugated forms between a middle vav or a middle yod verb. So compare the Cal perfect of Catal, your paradigm from chapter three, with the Cal perfect of three middle weak verbs, cum, seem, and bo. The Catal paradigm, as you know, is Catal, Catala, Catalta, Catalt, Catalti, Catalu, Cataltim, Cataltin, Catalnu. For cum, the middle weak verb middle vav, the form would be com, comma, comta, compt, comti, comu, comtem, comten, comnu. Note that in each of these forms, the second root letter, the vav, has disappeared in the conjugated form. With seem, a root in which the middle root letter is a yod, again the form will show no evidence of that yod, it will disappear, meaning in the conjugated forms it looks the same. Sam, Sama, Samta, Samt, Samti, Samu, Samtem, Samtin, Samnu. The only way to tell the difference from one of the conjugated forms then between a middle vav and a middle yod verb is to either know your vocabulary, if it is a common word, or to check both options in the lexicon. Because the disappearance of the middle root letter creates a significant change in the form, the Cal perfect paradigm for cum must be memorized. Bo, the root with bait, vav, aleph, is also middle weak and third aleph. Its forms then would be ba, ba'a, bata, bat, bati, banu, batim, batin, banu. Three things to note. First, the typical form of a middle weak perfect, in other words, the memory paradigm of cum, will have a comets vowel for the first vowel in all third person forms, and a patak vowel for the first vowel of all second and first person forms. Bo, however, because it is both middle weak and third aleph, will have the lengthened vowel in the first syllable of all forms. Bo is doubly weak. It has the weakness of the middle vav, causing the middle root letter to disappear, and the weakness of the third aleph, causing the first vowel to lengthen to a comments. For the same reason, because it's a third aleph verb, the tav suffix on forms of bo will lose its dagish lene. Second, the third common plural form of a middle weak perfect is stressed on the first syllable. This difference is important because it will allow you to distinguish the third common plural form of a middle weak from the third common plural form of a third hey verb. In a third hey verb, the third common plural form, as you should know from your memory paradigm, is stressed on the final syllable. In a middle weak form, the third common plural form will be stressed on the first syllable. So when you see kamu and the stress is on the first syllable, you know it must be a middle weak verb, in this case from the root kum, whereas if you saw ra-u, you would know that it would be a third hey verb from the root resh aleph hey. Third, 
If a middle weak verb is also stative instead of active, it will often show a different first vowel for the third person forms only. For instance, mate with the tsere vowel is the cow perfect third masculine singular of mote, mim, vav, tav, glossed as to die. Or tovu, note that the stress is on the first syllable, is a cow perfect third common plural of tov, middle weak, glossed as to be good. Consider these examples. First, Genesis 37 7. Vahine kama alumati vagam nitsava. So we begin with vav plus hene and look, then kama, cow perfect, third feminine singular of the hollow root kum, it arose. Alumati is a feminine singular noun with a possessive suffix. Remember that the possessive suffix is added to the construct form of the noun. So the feminine singular noun would have ended in a. For that to become a construct form, a would have converted to at. And then the possessive suffix e is added on to the end. So my sheaf. So and c, my sheaf arose then v plus gam, and also, and then nitsava, a nifal perfect third feminine singular. Note the a ah ending characteristic of the third feminine singular in the perfect. A nifal of not sav, to stand. The tsade has the dagesh, which hides the noon of the root, and the noon that is visible is the noon of the nifal perfect. Second example, Isaiah 14.22, Vakamti alehem neum adonai sevaot. So v plus kamti, cal converted perfect, first common singular of, again, the root kum. So and I will rise up, since it's a converted perfect, alehem the preposition all plus the third masculine plural suffix against them. And I will rise up against them. Neum Adonai Sivaot. Neum, an oracle of the Lord Sivaot of hosts. Recognize hosts, a feminine plural formation. Third example from Deuteronomy 10.2. The ektov al huluhot et hadivarim asher hayu al haluhot harishonim asher shibarta vesamtam baaron. So we begin with a converted perf, not a converted perfect. Note v, a simple vav plus an imperfect form, v ek tov. So this is not a narrative. A narrative would have to have va plus a doubling. Now the aleph wouldn't be able to double, so you would have expected va for a narrative. This is v, so it's vav plus imperfect. So and I will write cal imperfect, first common singular of katav to write. And I will write al, preposition meaning on, haluhot, so the tablets, ha, definite article, luhot, it's a feminine plural formation. Remember that ot can simply be written as ot as well. So, and I will write upon the tablets, et, marking the definite direct object, Ha, the definite article, devarim, words. The words, asher, the relative particle, which, hayu, a cal perfect third common plural of the root haya, to be, which is both middle weak and third hay, notice in its form, which were, 
upon the tablets ha rishonim the first so here we have a review of our numeral chapter the first tablets asher again the relative which shibarta this is a pl perfect second masculine singular of shabar and the pl to shatter or to smash v sam tam note this form is going to be a converted perfect again it's v not va then we have sam tam the key here is to notice that the vowel here is a comet not a segol if a segol, this would have been a second masculine plural form. But the comets tells us instead, this is an, in fact, samta, the cal converted perfect second masculine singular. Remember, second masculine singular forms end in ta, plus an object suffix, the third masculine plural object suffix, them. And you shall put cal converted perfect second masculine singular of seem to put or to place them suffix ba aron in the ark. Note that the preposition bait has the vowel comets underneath it, indicating the presence of a definite article in vocalization in the ark. Fourth. Jeremiah 7.30 Samu shikutsehem babayat asher nikra shemi alav latama o. So we begin Samu. Note that the stress with the accent mark is on the first syllable, tipping us off that what we have here is a cal perfect third common plural of a hollow root, in this case, seem to put or place. So they placed, note the possessive suffix on the noun here, their vile things, ba by it. So bait in, note that the vocalization, ba indicates the presence of a definite article in the house. I share the relative particle, which nikra, a nifal perfect third masculine singular of the third aleph verb kara, which is called shemi is the noun shem, shem, name with a possessive suffix. So which my name is called nifal, which is a passive form. Alav, the preposition all upon it. So which my name is called upon it, or in better English, which is called by my name. L tama o. L, as often is the case, marks an infinitive construct. And note the dagesh in the second root letter of the verb. The root is going to be tama, which is to defile. And with the doubling of the second root letter, you know this is a PL infinitive construct of tama to defile with a third masculine singular object suffix to defile it. Fifth example, Genesis 2730. Va esav ahiv ba So and, proper noun esaw. Achiv, his brother, so ach, brother, plus the possessive suffix, his brother. Ba, cal perfect, third masculine singular of the hollow middle weak verb, bo, to come. And Esau, his brother, came or entered. Me, which is the preposition men, said, noun hunting, note that it is the first letter is doubled because of the presence of the noon being assimilated from men. And then the possessive suffix from his hunting. And then sixth, Exodus 5.1. V 
Ba'achar Ba'u Moshe Ba'acharon. So Ve'achar, simple vav, and after or afterwards. Then Ba'u. Again, note that the stress is on the first syllable of a third common plural verb. Cal perfect third common plural, and with the stress being on the first syllable, you know it must be middle weak. Bo. And afterwards, they came, verb, and as is typical, the subject follows, in this case a compound subject, Moses and Aaron.